Greetings lovely people of the internet. I'm Movie Geek and this video will explore the possible meanings of Andrei Tarkovsky's 1979 movie Stalker. It will also contain spoilers. Considering the fact that Tarkovsky once said, take a watch to pieces, it doesn't work. Similarly with a work of art, there is no way it can be analysed without destroying it. You may be wondering why I'm doing a video essay on his Stalker. Well, partly it's because someone in the comment section asked me to do it, but it's also because I love this film. That being said, I feel it would be out of keeping with the spirit of the movie to say, yep, this is what Stalker is about, you're welcome. Therefore, please view this video as the opening to a discussion around the movie, which you're very welcome to join in the comments section, rather than being an explanation. I'll give my personal interpretations, but it will be, by nature, reductive. So Stalker follows the journey of a professor, a writer, and a stalker, a nickname for illegal guys to the zone. However, as a thought experiment, you could replace professor with scientist, writer with artist, and stalker with holy man. Wait, what? The guy is literally a criminal. I hear no one shouts. No, hear me out. Throughout the movie, the stalker talks about how this room, which he's never entered or seen do anything, brings hope and joy, while places like the meat grinder he fears, despite nothing ever happening in them. In short, he has faith and wants to use it to help people. Anyway, the fourth character in the movie is the zone itself. Somehow terrible and wonderful for no apparent reason. How an artist, scientist and holy man react to something which is greater than their understanding is where the film gets really good. A scientist who has devoted his life to understanding the world fears the incomprehensibility of the zone in the room and ends up trying to destroy it. The artist, who is bored by the banality of life, is intrigued by something he can't understand, but eventually is overcome by how terrible it is to experience something which is beyond his understanding of reality. The holy man, however, has faith, not only in the zone but in the spirit of humanity to use it for good. His ability to help people through his faith gives his life meaning, but when he leaves the zone, he becomes depressed and frustrated with reality, hence the monochrome. By having these three archetypes travel together, Tarkovsky lets them discuss their own ideas in relation to the zone and what it means for reality and the way we experience it, resulting in some truly fascinating discourse. However, it is not until the stalker's wife and child become the focus of the movie at the end that the film begins to unravel the tangles of arguments it has created. While the three men are out searching for the meaning of life, the meaning of it all, etc, etc, his wife is dealing with, you know, reality and looking after Monkey. Her ending monologue and love for her husband, despite his failings, is deeply touching as she shows the viewer that to exist in a harsh world, the zone and the room aren't necessary. In fact, the ability to live without them is crucial. Reality is harsh and nasty and several other negative adjectives, but judging by the state her husband is in by the end of the movie, trying to escape it, whether through art or faith or science, is even more dangerous. To further this, Monkey appears to see the world outside the zone in colour and can move objects with her mind. Pretty neat trick. Anyway, I personally interpreted this as suggesting that the horror and beauty of what we don't understand is present in reality as well as in science, art and faith. In conclusion, engaging with the harshness, beauty and incomprehensibility of reality, not escaping from it, is the way forward. Thanks so much for watching, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Stalker.